Hi, my name is Roz. I'm a 71-year-old retiree. I've been retired for 13 years. Uh, my background professionally is I was a nurse educator and midwife. My, I, my marital status, I've, got, um, I've been divorced for about 30 years. I've got two children and two grandchildren. I come from England, so I haven't got any other family here. I first decided to make a will in 1978. This was soon after my marriage had broken up. My children were teenagers and there were no other family in Australia. So I thought if anything happened to me, no one would know what to do with any property um, or any other affairs I had that needed to be settled. So that was my first will. In 2000, after I retired, the family situation had changed. The children were married, there were grandchildren, and then I decided to renew my will at that time. Because if there's uh, no will, when I, if I died, then it would be very inconvenient for the family, even if it's just a straightforward matter of dividing up the property between the two children. So I made another one. My will is really very simple. I own one house. I don't have a lot of possessions so, and there's no, I don't make any difference between the two children. So it's just a states that the, all my possessions um, and any money, superannuation, anything that's left um, will be divided into two between the two children equally. The only one exception is I've got a ring which belonged to my mother. Um, it was her engagement ring. Um, there is sentimental value to that and I can't give half to one daughter and half to the other. <laughs> so to get around that problem, this is going to my one granddaughter and that's stated in the will. Otherwise everything will be half and half. Yes, I found it extremely straightforward. I made an appointment. I went and drafted the will with the um, person there and um, it was all signed up. No trouble at all, I signed it and that was it. It's a very simple procedure. After I made the will, there was really very little to do. I communicated to the appropriate people that I'd made a will. I made copies, made sure that they were in a safe place. I made sure I knew how to access the will when I need, if I needed it or if somebody else needed it. And that was really all, it was very simple. I've realised that it's important to change your will as the need to and to remember to do it. I first changed it when the children grew up and I retired and our names had changed. And now I'm about to change again as things have happened over the last few years, I've appointed an enduring guardian and other, other names have changed in the meantime. So I'd like to get all that corrected. As far as the property part share of the will goes, there won't be any differences.